All right. Hey, guys, I'm Matt. Uh, I've done two years at Holland College in the Wildlife Conservation Program, and I'm in my third year post-secondary here at UPEI, uh, still doing the same thing. So, my topic of presentation today for you guys is the beach groin. Now, I had no idea what it was when I first heard of it, so went straight to Wikipedia, as many of you might have done. <laughs> uh, basically, I'll uh, get started by drawing it here for you. Got a uh, sharpie and a little piece of paper. So basically, if you're looking overhead, bird eye view at, say, a beach, uh, draw a beach here, nice swooping motion. So the land's up here, you'll have your ocean waves going on out here. And what they'll, uh, they'll do is they'll put these things called beach groins, kind of sticking out like this. They'll be perpendicular to the shore and they're made of, say, you'll get them, wood is the most popular one, I think, and then cement and rock will be a more permanent kind of uh, fix to this issue of uh, coastal erosion. So, basically, got another picture on the back here for you. Sorry for the black and white, but it's a cute little printout. There's kind of an example of them wanting to protect that nice beach with all these big hotels and touristy spots in that area. A uh, couple more real world examples for you uh, from the UK, from the beaches of Sussex and Kent. Uh, show you the first one here. Basically, you'll see it kind of looks like your normal wooden fence. You'll see like a farm or something, but they got posts. They'll drive down into the sand and then they'll just put boards along that. Second example here, this one's starting to get a little more buried by the sand. So basically, I'll explain how these work now, is you'll get this thing called longshore drift. And what that does is when you have uh, your waves coming at this direction to the beach, it'll kind of carry all this material and stuff out, uh, causing coastal erosion, which is a big problem here on PEI. <laughs> So, one thing, I'm kind of surprised we don't use this more here. Uh, it's mostly in Britain, and I think it's a pretty good way to combat coastal erosion. Uh, one last picture for you here. Uh, if you're from PEI, you will may know of Victoria by the Sea. Just took a screenshot off Google Maps here. So, this is the village down here. And what happens in this case is you'll have ocean currents coming from up here down through this bridge here. And what happens, it'll be carrying this material from this side of the island in past our little harbor here. So you see these, the main wharf and then there's this little dock here. And there's actually a third one that used to be right here. You can't see it on this map, but it's kind of still there if you can go see it. And unused, obviously. But what will happen is this area right here will all fill up with this material from over here when the water kind of comes swooping in so that's what a beach going does kind of builds up the beach it'll kind of catch the sediment materials from the longshore drift and this eventually here it'll come build up this beach so you have a nice wide beach for your tourists so I think that's everything. Uh, hope you've learned something.